Alright, so I thought I'd just jump in and capitalize on something that's already been out of date for two years at this point, being the trendsetter that I am. So as you may or may not know, I've recently just finished covering the absolute slog that was the Wrong Turn franchise. Well, is the Wrong Turn franchise. I can't quite imagine why somebody would want to reboot something like that. Oh yeah, money. Hello! I like money! And as the world is clearly in need of an authoritative figure on this topic, because I couldn't think of anything more important that the world needs right now, no information that could possibly be more important than this. Nope. Nothing. This, ladies and gentlemen, is what I like to call modern art, and definitely not something that I whipped up in Photoshop in five minutes. As you can see here, we've got a bunch of random letters that we've applied some arbitrary meanings to. Obviously S is the top tier, and F is the bottom tier. After some recent long arduous nights, I finally uncovered the meaning behind these letters. S stands for Super Sexy Mr. Big William, and F stands for, um, uh, fuck your french fries or something like that. And everything in between is, uh... Yeah, whatever. So there's seven different movies, and also seven different rankings, so it'd be awfully convenient for each movie to have its own place in the ranking system. But I think this is more of an accurate rendition of things. So we've got the original Wrong Turn movie, an average yet enjoyable horror movie that's made to look like an absolute masterpiece compared to the rest of these. It is surprisingly average, but I've got nostalgia for it, so as we know, that trumps all criticism. The idea was fresh here, especially back for 2003, even though it was essentially just the hills have eyes but in the woods. Replace the desert sand for the Virginia woods and then BAM, there's your million dollar idea. Which is apparently true, because they kept making them for over a decade after this. Arguably this one has the best makeup effects too, and the shots of the brothers are used sparingly. So when you do actually get that brief glimpse of them, it leaves you thinking, these guys could really benefit from a good skincare routine. It's a good movie, it's enjoyable, it's the one that started it all, but it isn't quite my favorite one of them all. So let's put this one in A, shall we? Right there. You can live there now. Wrong Turn 2. This one's got Henry Rollins in it. My favorite incredibly intense old dude, so that's an instant S tier right there. That's where you belong. They took what made the original good, and they just made it more fun. A wacky reality TV show, more people to kill, amped up death scenes, and this absolutely wretched creature that makes me wish we were still in ancient Greece because it needs to be yeeted from a cliff by some buff Spartan dude. I love none of that, thank you very much. Yeah, sure, it brings up questions like, where were these guys in the first movie, and I wonder what human flesh really does taste like. But not to forget, this is where the Brother Lover Meat Toucher saga began, so instant S, that's right where it belongs. Wrong turn free, and talk about taking a wrong turn. How'd you go from silly yet enjoyable with Wrong Turn 2, so this is an STD in movie form with Wrong Turn 3. Yeah, it was fun the first two times, but now everything's itchy and sore and I just kinda want it to go away. You thought this video was an easy cash grab to capitalize on the success of me finishing the series. Well, Wrong Turn 3 made an estimated $5 million to date. And in comparison to other big hits, yeah, that's really not much at all. But when you then realize that it's essentially just a couple of people walking around in the woods for an hour and a half, yeah, that's a lot of money. Wrong Turn 2 was a direct-to-home video release and it didn't feel like it. Wrong Turn 3 is the exact same, and it does feel like it. It's boring, the effects are bad, it's boring, they only have one of the brothers, and that wretched baby grown up to be a wretched kid. Oh, and uh, did I mention that it's boring? Without a doubt, this one is the worst of the worst. This is an absolute definite F rank. There is not even another thing to consider right there. That's where you belong. All right, Wrong Turn 4. You can only have so much killing people in the woods, guys. So how do we spice this one up? Snow. It's a prequel set before the first movie, because when you kill all of your cool characters, you're kind of forced into doing things like that. Well, that didn't seem to stop this series one bit. It didn't even serve as a speed bump. I'm convinced all of these movies are some sort of elaborate money laundering scheme. The idea with it being a prequel is actually kind of cool, but it kind of misses the mark as it skips straight ahead to them being adults after having a somewhat promising start as them being kids. It's basically softcore pornography at times, and we do get to watch a dude be flayed alive and eaten, so I guess it's interesting from an artistic perspective. This one's gonna get the rank B. Wrong Turn 5. This one looks like it's been shot on a Disney Channel set. If you've made a set with the intention of making it look like a set, well, I guess you succeeded. It's another prequel, because once again we killed the brothers in the original film, but my god we're gonna milk this franchise into the ground, reboot it, and then do it all over again. A potential highlight is that it's got Doug Bradley in it, the guy who played Hellraiser, but he spends the majority of his time sitting behind one of the Disney Channel jail cells being a creepy old fucker. Which still has the potential to be actually quite good, because it's Doug Bradley, but if you drop a diamond into a turd, it's still a turd, but it's got a diamond in it. 
or however the saying goes, I don't really know. This one gets a ranky. It's bad, but it's not quite as despicable as Wrong Turn 3. God, I hate that movie. Wrong Turn 6. This is a weird one, because it looks at the already mistreated continuity of the series and goes, I don't wanna. We learn this family of inbreeding murderous cannibals are actually incredibly wealthy inbreeding murderous cannibals. Which kind of makes you wonder why they've been living in dilapidated shacks for the entire series so far. Look, it doesn't make sense. I know it. You know it. The people who made this movie know it. Have some titties. Have some more titties. Oh my god, I hope nobody walks in while I'm watching this. And add a dash of extreme violence, and then you've basically got Wrong Turn 6. I've heard that the entry is supposed to be a soft reboot of the series, which kind of would explain the continuity errors, but uh, I don't know, man. Maybe don't add a number to the end of the title, insinuating that it's going to be the next one in the series if you're going to do that. At least the idea is somewhat interesting with this one. A long lost member of the family gets invited out into the mountains and learns about his heritage of killing, eating, and uh, reproducing with his own family. It suffers of the problem of uh, not being great. Yeah, it's kind of bad actually. Rank D for you. And if I was making this video two years ago, that would be it. But they went and made a reboot of the series and did that really obnoxious thing where they give it the same title as the original movie. Because it would be far too confusing for all of the commoners to understand if we made a Wrong Turn movie and called it Wrong Turn The Foundation like we originally planned to. It does away with the classic cannibal inbred family from the series and, uh, well, it basically does away with all of the cannibalism and inbreeding, to be honest. I guess it's supposed to feel more grounded in reality, I guess, with instead of there being a bunch of psychotic loonies out in the woods cutting up people and eating them, there's a long lost group of people out in the woods hiding from civilization. But I'm not sure how true to reality having a hidden civilization out in the woods actually is, especially when we're in the age of satellite imagery and drones. Much like the original 2003 Wrong Turn movie, it's... It's alright, I guess. There's nothing particularly special about this one, to be honest. And I'm gonna go with rank C with this one. Somewhere in the middle, to be honest. It's an okay horror movie, there's nothing particularly mind-blowing about it, it's just... kind of... Average, really. And that does it for the wrong turn tier list. Over nine months of suffering has led to this. Yep, yeah, looks like modern art to me.